Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 2nd of 2023. Well, it is titled Flat Rock Hills on Mars. So what do we see here? Well, these are images from the Curiosity rover on Mars taken just last month. And it's helping us to better understand the red planet. Now we can see little bits of the rover towards the front here. And then images of some unusually flattened rocks, which is why question would be why are there so many very flat rocks? Well, one thing we know that Mars does not have is running water currently on its surface. But we do know that Mars has wind and very high winds that are very good at picking up dust grains from the ground. And in fact, Mars can have planet wide dust storms, not just covering a small portion, but covering the entire surface. And as those those that wind blows around and brings that material, of course, those particles then brush against the rocks. Now, while we know that doesn't happen quickly, that will slowly erode away the rocks and can smooth out some of them and flatten off the tops of others, depending on the exact type of the of the rock. So it's essentially acting like a big piece of sandpaper. Now, will this happen in one storm? No, it takes a long period of time, just as erosion does on Earth. We don't see erosion going on constantly, even though it is. But if you slowly wear away a couple small layers of the rock with each dust storm, then over many millions of years, you can easily flatten out the rocks in ways that you would not otherwise see if they did not have this process. So we can explain how they how this works by looking at the different types of rocks and trying to learn more about and learning more about Mars in the process. And in fact, curiosity has helped to us to learn that yes, Mars is a very windy place, but it is also has been very wet and very wet planet in the past. Now, not currently, I did say it did not have liquid water on it on, at present. It does have frozen water ice uh, in the below the soil and in the polar caps, but it does not have any water presently. However, in the past, it did. It did have flowing water and we have evidence of rivers and lakes and maybe even an ocean on Mars in the distant past. And we're talking many billions of years ago. So Curiosity was able to do the to study this and actually carefully has to very carefully navigate all of these stones so that it does not end up flipping itself or getting itself trapped within the rocks since there would be no way to get it out. So it has been able to climb into this valley and better able to study the regions within this crater that it landed and telling us again a lot more about the wet history of Mars. And here we see those unusually flat rocks telling us about the windy history of Mars as well. So that was our picture of the day for May 2nd of 2023. It was titled Flat Rock Hills on Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.